the second meeting of the year for the BRSCC Mazda MX-5 Super Cup took place at the Rockingham Motor Speedway, where former British touring car racer Paul O'Neill was a guest driver in a first race that took place in treacherously slippery conditions. While many drivers struggled for traction off the line, it was early season championship leader Alan Henderson who held on to the lead from pole. The battle for second was intense, but it soon became the fight for the lead when Henderson skated off on the opening lap at Gracelands. James Blake Baldwin was the main beneficiary, but he then lost out to a committed JJ Clements on lap two. One of the pre-season favourites, Liam Murphy, retired in the Entwood gravel trap as Clements left behind a three-way scrap for second between Blake Baldwin, O'Neill and Simon Goddard. Meanwhile, a fired up Alan Henderson was charging through the order, eventually recovering to a ninth place finish. Paul O'Neill finally managed to find a way past Blake Baldwin, easing the reigning Mark I champion onto the grass on the exit of the Dean hairpin. However, despite then setting the fastest lap, Paul was unable to quite catch JJ Clements, who held on to take his second win of the season. Race two was a much drier affair and saw a fantastic start for Alan Henderson, who propelled himself from eighth on the grid into second after just two corners. He then took advantage of this slide for JJ Clements to move himself into the lead before the end of the opening lap. The chasing pack, including Blake Baldwin, O'Neill and John Davies, did keep Henderson honest for the first half of the race, with JJ Clements getting the closest to snatching the lead from the AK Automotive driver here at the Dean Hairpin. Eventually, though, Henderson escaped, leaving Clements and O'Neill to fight over the lower podium places, with Paul making this perfectly judged move around the outside of the Tarzan Hairpin to take the place. Further back, Jack Harding was enjoying an intense scrap with Ben Webster over 13th, a position Ben eventually retook from Jack, who was struggling with a damaged steering rack. It was Alan Henderson, though, who romped home to victory, with Paul O'Neill making it two second-place finishes for the day. JJ Clements was third, which is enough for him to hold on to the championship lead over Henderson and a consistent Simon Goddard. But with many of the pre-season favourites running into trouble early on in 2015, it'll be fascinating to see how they can recover over the rest of the season. Don't forget, you can catch up with all the action from Rockingham at 5.15 on Friday the 15th of May on Motors TV.